Up, high in the mountains, lives Maria. A few kilometers down, at the seashore, lives Tomás. Even though they live in very different places, Tomás and Maria want to know how to adapt to climate change effects. Who is more vulnerable to climate change effects? It depends. Let's imagine that as a consequence of a temperature increase, the ocean level rises and the seashore has to face a terrible flood. Who is more exposed to it? Because of their closeness to the sea, Tomás family is more exposed. Let's take another scenario. What happens if Maria stops living at the mountain and moves to the seashore? She would automatically be exposed to flooding. But since Maria and her family are aware of the dangers that come with living at the seashore, they decide to modify their house into a stilt house. Now, both houses stand at the seashore and are equally exposed. Which family is more at risk of losing their home? Which family is more threatened by flooding? Exactly, the Tomás family. They are more at risk because their home is still at seashore level and they may lose it if powerful flooding happens. Exposure combined with sensitivity results in potential impact and in this case, the Tomás family was more impacted by the flood than Maria's. The reality is more complex than that, and there are many variables involved in the adaptation process. Tomás' family is larger, his wife, their five children, both grandparents and him, all living in the same seashore home. Meanwhile, at the stilt house, Maria's family is small. She lives with her husband and two children. Tomás' family has a bicycle, and Maria's has a car. Tomás' family has some money, and Maria's has a savings account, a credit card, and even a cell phone. Which family is less capable of adapting if flooding occurs? Tomás' family. Their circumstances do not allow them to react to the flood as well as Maria's, which has more budget, a car to allow them to escape faster, and a cell phone that would allow them to receive an alert prior to the events so they can react in a timely manner. The sum of all these elements allows us to identify vulnerability. Which family is more vulnerable to the flood? Tomás family again. They are more vulnerable because their potential impact is greater and they have fewer elements to respond correctly to the flood. Tomás needs to find a solution and take the necessary actions in order to reduce his vulnerability. All those actions are adaptation measures. Okay, now Tomás has reduced the possible impact of a flood. He raised his ability to adapt, even though he's still living at the seashore and his family is more prepared for the next flood.